Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to clear the cache of your iPhone. Cached files will take a lot of space on your iPhone. Sometimes it will be in the gigs, a few gigs of storage that will be taken by cached files. Those are apps that will be cached on your device from iOS itself and of course the apps that you have installed. That is really important, especially if you have devices with lower storage capacity, those gigs are really, really important. So of course you need to free them up and clear the cache of your iPhone. Easily can be done with a few simple steps. Just make sure you follow this video and those few simple steps to clear the cache of your iPhone. Now another simple step that you should make right now is leave a like on this video. That helps out a lot, will help the channel and the video do much, much better. So make sure you smash the like button. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head onto your iPhone, go to settings, go under general and go under iPhone storage. Here we'll have everything that you have installed on your iPhone, all the apps and all the space they are taking on your device. So what you need to do here is just swipe all the way to the bottom of this page. Now when you're here, you will see two other sections. So you have iOS, so these are the system files and you will have system data right here. So right here it says, system data includes caches, logs and other resources that are in use by the system. Here are the cached files of iOS. Now, of course, there is no option here to clear these. The way to clear these, and you should do this step regularly, maybe once a week, in order to have more free space on your device, is to reboot your device. Rebooting will help. Now, you can see right now, I have 3.52, which is the size of the cached files here on my device. Of course, you cannot clear all of these, but it will clear probably a few megabytes, maybe even a gig of storage here. Now, I've, I did reboot my device recently, so probably won't be that much, but if you have a device that you haven't rebooted, like in a few weeks or maybe 10 or more days, that will be quite a lot of space that you will free on your iPhone. So simply press volume up, volume down, and press and hold the side button right there until the screen goes black and then you see the Apple logo. And now just wait for the device to reboot. And once the device has been rebooted, you will see here the difference. So it's 2.76 now. So it cleared about 800 megabytes on my device right now with just a simple reboot. Of course, this space will keep up piling up with time. So you will have to do this regularly on your iPhone, maybe once a week or maybe once every four or five days to make sure you go ahead and just do a simple reboot on your iPhone and you'll be good to go. Another really important thing, despite the iOS system files, of course, are apps and they will take a lot of space on your iPhone, of course, for the cached files. Now, few apps have an option to clear their cache, most don't. So the way to do that is by going to the storage section here on the settings and what you gotta do is maybe go to one of the apps you can see right here let's say this app right here so the size of the app is 219 megabytes but the documents are 500 megabytes now the way to clear these is not to upload the app if you upload the app it will just clear that right there the app size because it will still save the data of the app once you install the app back you still have all the data there the way for this to work is just go ahead and completely delete the app from here and then make sure you reinstall the app from the app store and you won't have any files from that app saved. Of course, if it's an app that you actually need the data of that app, this will completely delete all the data. So you make sure you don't do that. But if it's like a music app or stuff like that, you don't actually have any files that you need to have saved there. Make sure you delete the app and reinstall it back from the app store. Now, of course, there will be some amazing apps like Spotify that offer you the option to clear their cache. So what you gotta do in, the, in this example, go to Spotify if you use it. A lot of people do, of course. Go to your settings, go to storage, and right here, you will have the option to clear the cache. So you can see it says other apps, downloads, and then it, th it says cache. So we have 1.4 gigs of cache files just from the Spotify app. So you can do this in a few apps. I know Spotify allows us to do this, maybe Snapchat as well. I'm not sure about that, but there are a few apps that actually have this option and it's very, very useful. And last but not least, browsers also have a lot of cached files. So whether you use Safari or maybe even Google Chrome, whichever browser you use, make sure you go ahead and regularly clear their data. So on Safari, you can do this right here. 
clear history and website data you can go ahead and clear it from here it will basically save you a ton of space by clearing all the different cached files from safari you can do that again in any browser most of them will offer you that option under the settings so that's basically it for this video guys this is how you clear the cached files on your iphone thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one